Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be giving a review and a mini tutorial on the Bedhead Away We Go um, little curl, I guess it's a waver. Um, and I actually bought mine on Amazon. Um, the price on Amazon is $29.99 and on, at Ulta they have it for $40. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like $40 at Ulta. And, um, but I will tell you, I would recommend buying it. Like, okay, so Ulta, okay, so I've been wanting one of these for a while just because, um, this hairstyle is coming back and I really like it. I think it looks like, like it could look sort of natural in a way. And, um, yeah, I've seen a lot of influencers wearing their hair like this and it just really, um, inspired me, but not necessarily them, but I just like, I like the look. So I wanted, I've been wanting one for a while and, um, I saw that Ulta had them on sale about a week ago and I, as I was, had my item in my cart, um, it turned midnight and the sale went off. So I couldn't buy it from them. So I'm kind of happy that did happen though, because they had it for $10 off. So it was like about $30 there. Um, but then I looked, started looking and Amazon has it for $29.99, but they had a little um, coupon, you know, I don't know if, um, if you have Amazon, you might know, they have little sometimes um, coupons that'll say like, click this to clip the coupon. And so I got an additional $7 off. So I actually got it for 23, which I was so happy with. That's almost half price of what it was at Ulta. So I'm really glad I didn't get it there. But that being said, um, I'll just get into it. Um, this, um, there's, um, sorry, my dog, um, there is another one that, sorry about that barking, okay, I think she's done, so, um, the other one is called the D, D4 Hair Curling Iron 3 Barrel Wand, and that's the one that most of the influencers are using, influencers are using, but it's like a big three barrel thing, and, um, I actually think this is a better way to go, um, because it has all these adjustable heat settings. I have mine set on 325 here, which is kind of like right in the middle, but I've done it on 280 before, so, um, that works for me too, but I do have like thinner hair. Um, it does have a guide on the instruction packet. If you have like thick hair, you need to have a higher temperature, and if you have thinner hair, you can go for a lower temperature, and I have like thinnish hair to medium but um and then the the cool thing about this the why I would recommend this over the other ones that the influencer are using is because this is adjustable you can turn this little knob I'm, I don't want to do it now because it's hot because I just used it but this thing turns and it moves this this middle barrel in and out and so that can affect how big you want the waves to be I want mine to to have a more natural look. If you're going, I'm pretty sure it was the 80s that the crimps were in, and like, maybe early, maybe like 90s and early 2000s, I don't really know, I'm a 90s baby. But it was never, I guess it was never really big in style when I was alive, but those crimps are in style, or I mean, it's not really, but they used to be, if you're going for that, like you're going to a throwback party or something, you can um, tone it in. And I was actually scared, um, that it wouldn't be good because I, in the summer, I usually cut my hair to about this length. So I was scared that it wouldn't look good on that length of hair, but I think it really would look good. Um, I'll show you the whole thing after I finish, but yeah. So um, I I was looking on Amazon. It has about four and a half stars on Amazon um, of about 1,800 ratings. And um, I was looking on, and if you want to see picture, if you have shorter hair, um, or like different type of hair than I do and you want to see a different example they have some pictures on there but I'm gonna quit rambling and get right on into it um, I did watch a tutorial that they had uh, from bedhead themselves and they made it look more complicated than it is in my opinion the way I do it is different from them and um, I just saved like a little chunk of hair so I could show you how I do it um, so I just start at the top and then clamp it down and then leave it there for a little bit and then just like hold and then they were like telling like doing it weird on there like it just looked too complicated for me so what I'm doing I don't like try to they say try to fit it into the little curve or whatever but I literally just clamp down to the next available spot and then just keep going because it's just like too much to try to like make it perfectly in the wave every time and then the way they were doing the tutorial on their um, little tutorial 
video. Um, it looked like it was du putting double heat on one certain area of hair. So that's just obviously not good for your hair. You want to put as little heat as possible. Um, I do have in some heat protectant, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you this little chunk to show you how it works and how I do it. I've had it for about, uh, I would say a week and a half now and it's doing so good. I've already used it. I think I've used it like four or five times. Um, I just think it looks like really cool and like, I don't know, it looks like kind of hip to me and it looks kind of like it because I have a friend with naturally curly hair and hers looks like this a little bit. Mine is stick straight. So, um, and it's very not voluminous. So I think that this is a really cool way to add volume as well. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Thumbnail. <laughs> So I, I know that this is a little boring, but I just wanted to show you a section because, oh, I guess that's it. I think I didn't miss any. Okay, so now that my whole head is done, I'm just going to run my fingers just slightly and then that's what the back looks like. I can't see the back, so obviously, like, y'all can see it more than I can, but I think it looks really good and, um, yeah, I, I don't mind this, like, chest rash. I was doing some weird... I was not, it, I was uh, trying a different like exfoliant and I, before I put it on my face, I put it on my chest and to see if I was allergic and apparently I am allergic. So that's why my chest is red. Um, but yeah, anyway, so, um, I would highly recommend it. I give it a five out of five. Um, I need to put my rating on Amazon. This is what the, I dig, I dug this out of my recycle bin, but, um, this is what it looks like on like when you get it and then it says all these things. Um, I guess I have it upside down. So yeah, you can pause it there if you want to look at that stuff. But yeah, that's kind of, um, yeah, see, see, you can make it, oh, and I do want to say, um, that some people, if your hair doesn't hold curl well, a lot of people are saying, because my hair holds curl fine, um, but some people are saying that they, nothing ever holds in their hair and it's holding for them, so that's another positive, and, um, I will say whenever I sleep, I was trying to sleep on it to see what it looked like in the morning. And when I did that, um, it wasn't good enough to go. Well, when I try to sleep like with my hair above my head, like on my pillow so that I don't like crush it with my head. And then in the morning, I, um, I kept it, but it did need some touch ups. So I like touched up the front pieces. And in order to do the touch ups, I put it on the lowest setting to um make the waves not as strong i guess so that it like blended in with the slept on hair and i found that uh, that worked and it looked good um for the second day and some people are saying that they could use wear it for three to four days but that personally did not work for me um i was only able to use it for two but that just kind of depends on your hair type um and i also don't use any like um, hairspray. I'm going to redo this little piece because I feel like this is kind of straight. I also don't use any like hairspray or anything on my hair because um, I'm allergic to hairspray. But if you did that, that might make it last even longer. So yeah, that's the end of my um, little review. Um, I just decided to make this because um, I, whenever I was trying to find YouTube videos on it, I had a hard time um, finding some. So I thought that this might be beneficial. So yeah. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I hope this was helpful. Bye. Oh, by the way, let me know if you have it or are thinking of getting it, and um, let me know how it goes. So, I yeah. just did my friend's hair. Um, her hair is a lot longer than mine, so I wanted to show what it looks like. Um, I didn't adjust the crimper, so it's still on the, like, widest setting to make the, like, loosest-looking um, waves. But um, since her hair is so long and, like, heavier than mine, probably should have, like, amped it up, but I think it still looks really pretty. So yeah.